Wow, it's more card games! I just thought I would play some Pokemon trading card game for the fun of it as well. What deck am I using right now? Uh, let's see what we got. I believe this is my ridiculously broken classic Rain Dance deck. That, yeah, this is the one that I was looking for. I was wondering if I had this together or not before I made this video. I was pretty sure that I did. And you can see the cards that I have in this deck. This this game only comes... Excuse me. This game only has up to the Fossil Expansion set of the first three sets of the game. Uh, so if you're a new player to the game, you will not know any of these cards. <laughs> and... Yeah, I'm good with this deck, and let's just move around here and find someone to battle. Maybe I'll have a hard time with my water deck versus the Lightning Club members here. I'll just battle ye old club master here, and uh, yes, I will. Bring it on, Isaac! Yeah, epic music for a card battling game, and what? Oh, come on, this is preposterous. Yeah, in the normal game, you would be able to draw two cards, but I think they changed it later to one card if uh, that ha that sort of thing happened. I forgot, actually, if they did that or not. So I could have swore they did. Anyway, I gotta put out a monster here. This is not a good opening hand, especially with those three Professor Oaks in one hand. That's kind of wasteful of those Professor Oaks. Um, I guess I'll lead with Arc Articuno. Even if it goes the way of the Dodo, I will be able to um, still have my Squirtle. And that's like a key Pokemon to this deck. Because I need to get out Ye Ol Rain Dancer Blastoise in order to power up my Pokemon like crazy. And I'm just gonna Professor Oak right away. Let's just, let's just get this over with here. <laughs> because a bunch of those cards I can't really use unless I hopefully draw a Magikarp. But, um, okay, I guess that, that's a lot more acceptable, I, I guess. I'm done here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. And the Thunder Wave, gonna try to paralyze. It failed! <laughs> oh, and like my Yu-Gi-Oh! video, um, I'm making this video in assumption that you know how to play the Pokemon trading card game. If you don't... Time to go look up some rules, <laughs> or just, if you're not interested, leave the video now. Anyway, um, I should probably energy removal that so it doesn't explode on the next turn, because if you check, if you check on his side of the field and see it's got self-destruct for 40, and that'll do a lot of damage to Articuno, I'm done here. It takes three energy cards for me to be able to attack with this critter. And once I am able to, I will wipe it out in one hit. <laughs> so I can live with that, especially since it only takes three energy cards, which is easily able to... I mean, I'm easily able to generate that with the um, actual oh, poopers. I, I forgot that he paralyzed it. Oh, oh dear. This, this isn't going to go well, is it? <laughs> Unless he doesn't self-destruct it. Mm. No, he's not going to self-destruct it, I guess. Trying to stall for time, I guess, maybe? Or maybe he's waiting to destroy my Articuno with a self-destruct on the next turn. Hello, Bill. Give me two cards. This is Pot of Greed, actually, in uh, Pokémon terms. Uh, energy removal, I will take advantage of that so he doesn't explode. Uh, wait, what do I have? Uh, should I start loading up other Pokémon just in case? I think I should. Alright, do your worst. Oh my. <laughs> I said do your worst, I didn't really mean it. Stop paralyzing it! Stop it! Why are you so lucky? <laughs> this is preposterous, I've never had this much bad luck. Uh, wait, should I be powering up my fishy friend? Because Gyarados is way better than... No, the Articuno is more resistant, because if you check the, um, 
See, it doesn't have an. I mean, it, it's it doesn't have a weakness, but um, Gyarados does have a weakness if you check the card. See that's. Oh wait, it's weak to grass, not lightning. Oh, I could play either one then. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'll just go for Articuno, because I'm guaranteed to power it up. Alright, looks like this is where my Articuno goes down without making a single attack. Curses! <laughs> well, it's it's a one for one, I guess. But I lost so many energy cards, that's so sucky. And so it's gonna do damage to all of our bench Pokémon by ten. One damage counter. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. And... Got a war turtle. That would be great, actually, for uh, our rain dance purposes here. So let's get that sucker started and evolve Magikarp right away. It doesn't really matter if you evolve Pokemon early or not because I'll be able to load them up with um, energy cards like crazy shortly. Oh, I thought it three energy cards did 50 with this Articuno. Dang it! My knowledge has gone bad of this game. I guess it's because I haven't played it in a while. I used to be pretty dang good at the game, though I have to say, not to brag. <laughs> That's probably because I use ridiculously broken decks like this. <laughs> Alright, let's get our Blastoise up and running. And Blizzard. Hopefully I'll get the heads. No! All my Pokémon take 10 damage, but that's okay. I, I get the plus one in prize advantage. Hopefully it's an energy card. This deck likes ha drawing energy cards. Yes! There we go. And I'd also like to draw an energy card on my next turn. That would be pretty nice as well. Um, it's a good, uh, uh, I don't really have to place any energy, any energy cards on any Pokémon because I can um, put, put, put as many energy cards on as many Pokémon as I want per turn just as long as I have, you know, Pokémon <laughs> and energy cards. So... I'm just gonna hold them on my hand, hold them in my hand, and just take advantage of it like that. And the reason why the Blizzard over Freeze Dry is just in case he had a potion or something like that, just so I would take a little advantage of that. And now I'm just gonna use a Freeze Dry to take it out. And man, I can't even get the coin flip properly. <laughs> can't even flip heads today. Ah, poopers. Alright, elect the buzz. Bring it on! Probably gonna do a Thunder Punch. No, oh, he's gonna try Paralyzing. Ooh, I actually got lucky for once. <laughs> There's a lot more uh, coin flip effects as well as luck in uh, Pokemon than there is in uh, yesterday's Yu-Gi-Oh. That's just how the game rolls. Now should I? Oh man, my poor Squirt. Oh, if I knock out my own Squirtle, I guess it's not that not too bad. Yeah, I, I think I am gonna. Oh, oh, that's right. I already evolved Magikarp. I am an idiot, <laughs> by the way. Um. And there goes my Squirtle. Oh, well. Because it's gonna hit it right there, and there it goes. He's gonna get a prize card. That's alright. It's it. I'm aiming for doing as much damage as I possibly can, as quickly as I possibly can. By the way, you'll notice those numbers that you see uh, at the bottom right corner of the screen, not where the text box is, is like where you see a little monster or a Pikachu pick with a three and then a Pokeball symbol, then another three. That indicates how many Pokemon are on your uh, bench and how many are, uh, how many prize cards you have left. And Professor Oak is... That is an awesome draw right there. Because <laughs> um, now I'm going to load up my Pokemon with energy cards. And... Oh wait, maybe I should have put it on the other Magikarp. Because it's, you know, it's free of damage counters. I'm gonna take it off that. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna cycle through it really quick. Because otherwise I'm gonna burn a lot of cards that way. This deck is built for speed. And it, it's got a lot of draw power. So if you don't use your draw power as early as possible... And, well, you'll run yourself out of cards. <laughs> It just draws that many cards. Like, here's Bill, here's two more cards. Look at the difference in our uh, the card advantage of our decks. Um, yeah, let's see. See, there's um, 18 cards in my deck, 37 in his. That's what I mean about running out of cards. Maybe I should lower the amount of draw power this deck has. 
because of that slight issue, but at the same time it's so powerful being able to draw cards so rapidly and, you know, place energy cards as often as you possibly want to on as many Pokemon as you can. It's very, very handy. And I'm gonna end it here. I, I took the liberty of taking rid of, getting rid of his energy card because otherwise he could do a Thunder Punch or do nothing. He's out of energy cards in his hand, otherwise he would have played one. Um, should I? No, I, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the energy cards. I'm, should bli freeze dry? I was I was gonna say try, try for a Blizzard and you know try and hit his bench Pokemon as well, but eh, just, I'm having a lot of bad luck and I don't have faith in that. <laughs> I'll take advantage of it when there's a lot of uh, when there's a high HP Pokemon like Kangaskhan here, but otherwise no, I'm not going to. I think I sh no wait I got Lapras on the bench right? Yeah. I mean just look how much damage I already did already to my poor Pokemon. <sighs> All right, give me heads. Yeah! Yeah! That makes me so happy. <laughs> I actually got a successful coin flip, and he's gonna be going down pretty soon. Actually, this this is taking a lot longer than Yu-Gi-Oh duels. Just saying, I'm already like ten minutes into this part. <laughs> um, that's my estimation after I trim off the beginning of this video. This is like a certain. Uh, Time, time frame that I trim off the beginning just so that there's like glitches in the setup and stuff like that. Anyway, freeze dry! And I get a coin flip when I don't need it again. <laughs> I should say a heads on the coin flip, which is a good coin flip when I don't need it. Ah, well. Hmm. I wonder if I should just like load up Blastoise with a bunch of energy cards. Oh no, I can't right now because it just paralyzed it. Because I could just push for the win by switching out uh, Articuno with Blastoise and do a 60 damage Hydro Pump. Um, I'm just gonna end it. Whatever he wants to do, he can do, I guess. Oh, he didn't attach it to Electabuzz, really? I guess he's just stalling at this point, that's why he's not doing it. Even though he sort of, kind of, has an advantage against you because I'm, have, you know, I'm playing a Water deck versus his Lightning deck. Um, I guess you could say electric deck, but I'm pretty sure it's called lightning in the Pokemon trading card game. It's been so long since I've played the game. I, I, all my lingo has gone down the pooper. <laughs> um, um, all right, I'll, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Yay! I, I'm pretty far ahead in prize cards, so I guess this doesn't really matter even if I knock out a couple of my own Pokemon, even if he started to do like Gust of Winds and stuff like that, trainer cards to switch. I don't know his deck, but he might have Gust of Wind, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's one of those things that you play sort of conservative just in case. Alright, knock out my Articuno if you want to. You're toast on the next turn anyway. <laughs> yada yada yada, come on, come on. And there we go. Now I shall play Ye Old Gyarados. This is this must be the one that I was thinking of that has yeah 50 damage for three energy cards. I was getting Gyarados, Gyarados and uh, Articuno confused. I have a lot of energy that I could play right now, but I'm just gonna end the duel. <laughs> Did I say duel? <laughs> end the battle. <laughs> I have I have Yu-Gi-Oh on the mind now. Dang it. And voila. <laughs> I really that was that just took so long. I don't know if I want to do another duel because it's I'm pushing 15 minutes right now and yeah <laughs> I'll, I, I guess I could do a quick duel. I, I said duel again. No, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, I guess since most of my cards are weak against grass, I'll go to the grass club, see if I can find myself a challenge here. I guess I could, theoretically, I could go over to the Grand Masters and have a much, much better duel than the... Yes, I said duel again. Screw it, I'm calling it duels. <laughs> um, I could have a much, much better battle than I would just battling the uh, leaders here. Hmm. This is kind of a poopy hand. I'm going to 
just use Articuno as bait and power up my Magikarp to Gyarados. I don't really care if I um, have to give up one prize card. I mean, if she gets a prize card off that, because of the fact that you know I'll just start be able, start being able to sweep her Pokemon rapidly using Gyarados over uh, Articuno. So can I? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I I just wasn't sure there because you know she went first and. Okay, just wanted to make sure. As I said, I haven't played this game in a while, so I thought maybe I could have evolved it because she went first and it was past my first turn of, you know, setting the bench Pokemon and stuff like that. Tis alright. Tis alright. <laughs> uh, actually, Gloom is going to be a slight issue because it's going to keep poisoning stuff and that's going to be kind of sucky. I just don't have the... Uh, I guess that won't be too bad for the 100 HP Gyarados. And I don't have any draw power this uh, game, so that's going to be uh, a little bit of an issue unless I get some shortly. And what? What? Why is she poisoned? That doesn't do any damage. <laughs> I guess she's taking advantage of her turn to the absolute fullest or something like that. Anyway, it's Gyarados. I would like to remove the energy on... Oh man, if she's got two glooms... Dear. I'm just gonna keep poisoning my Pokémon, my poor, poor Pokémon. You know what, I'll, I'll hold my energy removal. And I'll wait for her to knock it out, I guess. And just keep powering up my other Pokémon with uh, energy cards. And... Haha, got confused. <laughs> If, if all goes well, I will be able to knock it out on the next turn because she'll take Confuse damage. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I'll just attack with Dry... Should I use that... Should I put that energy card down and take advantage of the one per turn dealio thing? No, I just don't really feel like using Articuno. It doesn't seem very efficient in this situation. I don't want to put it on Magikarp either because that's... It's like... It's bait. <laughs> That poor little fish, it doesn't stand a chance. Haha, <laughs> worked perfectly though. I mean, the confusion thing. And I will take this one Pokemon Breeder, that is delightful. Because now I can do the. Oh, wait, I, I forgot that I don't have. I forgot that I don't have Squirtle on the bench. Okay, maybe it's not that delightful, but the pieces are coming into place to put Blastoise out again. Um. Hmm. I, I can't knock it out. I guess I'm just gonna have to Dragon Rage it. And... Then... Wait, maybe it'll... It'll probably try poisoning me to do more damage than it would if it were to just use the, uh... Um... The other attack was named the, uh... Yeah, see, it's using Poison Powder rather than the other attack. It just makes more sense, uh, damage-wise, turn by turn, than to use the other one in this case, because, you know, it's every single turn my Pokémon takes 10 points of damage. Oh, it's Foul order, Odor, that was the, the move of the attack that I was thinking of. Um... Let's... I guess I have to start powering up one. <laughs> I mean, I have to have something ready for... Gyarados' eventual demise, per se. Even though it's got 100 HP, that can go pretty fast with poison. As a matter of fact, it'll take uh, five turns to do it, uh, combined with the um, normal attacks of her Pokémon. Come on, wake up, Gyarados! You can do it! Yes! <laughs> and Professor Oak. That is... Delightful, but I'm not gonna play that just yet. I want to breed Blastoise on Squirtle. Well, I guess it's not really breeding so much as it is evolution. But it's called Pokemon Breeder. I guess it's a, a reference to Brock and you know his expert training of Pokemon in this era, because you know he's a Pokemon breeder. If you know the story of the show, basically. Mm, just evolved to Exeggutor. I don't know if you've seen that. I just clicked through it really fast, but my eyes seen it. See that? <laughs> I just said C like 60 times in that last sentence. Mm, that does not 
That does not sit well with me. Yeah, because of that poison plus the paralysis. Gyarados is done on the next turn. But hopefully I'll be able to play out my hand to get as many... Oh, another Professor Oak freaking... <laughs> well, let's start with Pokemon Breeder. I don't need the second Blastoise, I suppose. Alright, let's, let's play out as many cards as I possibly can here. I should probably get rid of... Executor's energy because it's got that big explosion from what I recall that feeds off of energy cards. Um, what's going on, Blastoise? All right, Professor Oak. It. Did I just say, did I just use Professor Oak as a verb? Hmm. <laughs> um, just keep powering up. This is why draw power is important to this deck. But also, the deck's kind of weakness because of the fact that you can run out of cards, as I said before. Um, so I play my cards intelligently. And yeah, I'm just gonna... Hopefully she doesn't have an energy card. <laughs> Please don't have an energy card, but she's probably got an energy card. Oh wait, that only takes one? Oh, that was useless on my end to play that. Dang it, I wasted an energy removal. Urgh. Poor Gyarados. Poor little fishy. Oh, he's not really that much of a little fish. I'm gonna put out uh, uh, Articuno now. Actually, I, I probably shouldn't have done that, because if I wouldn't have drawn that energy card, I wouldn't have be, been able to use Blizzard. I was kind of hasty in my decision there, in my quest to protect my beloved Blastoise, which is the butter of this deck. <laughs> uh, this one. Oh, it's... I already got one out! I guess that's fine in case I lose that Blastoise somehow. Um, oh, I guess I can put, no put another one out right there. I'm going to Blizzard... Yeah, that works for me. More damage to her bench Pokemon! Oh, it's only one. I'm kind of running her out of cards here. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, I can't knock it out now. Well, actually, maybe I could. But make... Well, let's just first get this out. Just gotta get, get... Gotta keep those Squirtles and Blastoises safe onto the field so I can put out as many energy cards as possible. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, I can't knock it out. Sadly, I'm just gonna go for a freeze-dry. Yeah! Luck is back! And hopefully she won't heal it. Oh, she healed... I was gonna make a rude remark about her, but she didn't heal um, but Venusaur. I guess she couldn't prevent the blizzard, you know, the damage difference and whatnot. Wait, did I? Yeah, I didn't evolve that, so that's good to go now. And freeze dry! Don't really care about the coin flip, I just A button rapid clicked. And one prize card to go. Yeah, needless to say, Rain Dance decks were... The king of all Pokemon decks back in the day. So even though I'm battling decks that this deck is supposedly weak against, I'm still holding my own quite well, as you can see. Because of the massive amounts of speed it's got. Alright, so delightful coin flip, even though it's not going to do any damage to her bench Pokemon because she has no bench Pokemon. But it doesn't really matter at this point, because all I need to do is knock out one, but it was the thing of saving my own Pokémon from taking more damage, like in that last battle. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take advantage of this turn since it is the last and have a lot of fun placing energy cards and freeze joy for the win! And that's pretty much all I'm gonna be doing in this video. <laughs> Aside from uh, showing you which cards that I have in the uh, card packs that I'll get from my victory here, that was a pretty decisive win. <laughs> what do I get? What do I get? Uh, Game Boy Ditto. What's oh my? It's, I guess it's okay stuff. It's okay for their respective decks. Um, okay, I'm done here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.